Good afternoon. We're so happy that you're here. We vlog every single day. So if you enjoy this video, we hope you will continue to return. Um, honestly, today has kind of just been dreary for us. The weather is kind of crummy. We didn't get a lot of sleep last night. We actually didn't end up going to bed when we signed off um, because Peter just had a had work that had to get done. And we fell asleep on the couch and just woke up uncomfortable. There's kind of a, a weird start that just, you know, kept on snowballing. Um, but anywho, you know us and that we will do our best to turn things around. So I'm going to cook dinner and we are going to figure out the rest of our day. So these potato wedges with salt, pepper, and rosemary are going into the oven at 425. So we'll have the potatoes with the gravy and applesauce and then a tomato salad for dinner tonight. The mushrooms are cooking up, just waiting for the rest of that liquid to evaporate. While it was cooking, I just made a simple tomato and onion salad with salt, pepper, garlic, and oregano with red wine vinegar and a little bit of olive oil. Now I'm going to add in some flour. Again, this is just like a spoonful, you might need more. And then mix it, you keep mixing until you can't see the white anymore. I have shared this recipe before, we use it at the holidays, and sometimes I have all the ingredients, sometimes I don't, but I will link it below, it's super simple. Um, now I'm just going to start adding in the vegetable broth, but the key thing is to just keep everything moving so that the flour doesn't clump. Okay, this is how it looks. Just letting it simmer and thicken up now is the potatoes. Whoa. <laughs> oh, this is some serious smoke. Um, while the potatoes finish cooking. You may be wondering why I'm wearing my good luck dress. Um, and that is because I called my um, baby doctor office today to see if they were letting um, significant others or any guests for that matter come into the room for ultrasounds. We have our 20 week anatomy scan on Friday and I was really hoping, Peter and I were both really hoping that he could um, come with me. I can no longer wear dresses to appointments because all of my ultrasounds now are topical on my tummy. Um, and so I wore the dress to call and they said that they are not allowing additional people in the room just yet. Maybe that I'll change by Friday. Um, I don't know, but just a quick note, we do hit 20 weeks on Wednesday and the appointment is Friday. Um, so it's a big week. Good afternoon, everybody. I am here in the vlog as well. Sarah, did you say how it's like a weird day for me? I just said it was a weird day overall. Did you say it was a weird day because I still have to work until... I did not mention that. Um, so, um, the team I'm on has a call with some resorts in the Asia Pacific region. So we are getting on a call at 6 p.m. Eastern time. So we got about 35, 40 minutes until that call and then after that call I'll be done working for the day. Someone only got two hours of sleep last night. So. I, only got, I only got two, <laughs> it was like two and a half hours of sleep. What did you do? I mean, when you're talking percentages, that's a big increase. <laughs> but yeah, so it's been a, a weird day. Show your plate. Here's the delicious mushroom aioli gravy on top of these delicious looking potatoes. Do you guys know I always call it tomatoes and potatoes? I always get those mixed up. I do. Also, I always secretly add soy sauce to this recipe even though it doesn't call for it. <gasps> oh, no big deal. I come out from my call, which went very well. And Sarah's just watching. I'm a, like have this I'm gonna be we do. I'm gonna be honest, guys. Though, like, but this is both. Well, you have to say what it is. This like, is Cyril Soon's episode called "Our Favorite Episode," and it's like their pregnancy announcement. It's their pregnancy announcement, but it looks very much like one of like their older like vacation announcements. And I remember walking down State Street downtown, watching this for the first time, and my mind was blown. And I called Sarah, and it was one of those things. And like. It's one of those hard, hard realities that we're always going to live with because, like, you are. It's the experience of when you battle infertility, of being so happy for some, for a couple, but also being sad for yourself. 
Right. And so this music and this video it will forever be one of my it favorites. So much. But also, like. He came out here and was like, why are you torturing yourself? Because, like, we would watch it so much, but it, like... like it would be so happy. It would be so happy, but, like, but so... But so just, inner like, turmoil. Just, like, wanting a baby so bad. And I so, Joe and like, Ashley, if you ever <laughs> see this vlog, we do love the video. We love it, and I... And we are so I, happy. It is one of my favorite YouTube videos. Probably one of our most watched it's, YouTube I, videos. It's probably, next to our wedding video, like, posted, yeah. it's probably our, our number one video that we've right, watched. It's like, it shows so much of the parks. Like, it shows... Um, spectacle of and they love lights. Disney like we do. Like they love would when love just going sitting into on a chair. Lodge and yeah. Just, are you serious? Are you serious? Half the times we drive into Wilderness Lodge, say I say that. <laughs> and so it's just so special. And Britt and Jared posted their their just recent um, expecting video. So you're in all the fields. Yeah. <laughs> and if you watch that, you might see some familiar faces. I haven't even seen reaction. it yet. We're only five days. We're. Yeah, we're five days apart in our pregnancies, Britt and Did I. Did she say that in her video? Yeah. Okay, I was like, are you no, telling insider trading? Here's some of my baby stuff. Just to point that out. Um, I'm utterly exhausted. Um, and I'll... Let me finish the statement before you Im impose any judgments, I think. Um, which I welcome, but... I'm exhausted. This it, there was something wrong with the network on the VPN with my work, and like we mentioned earlier, I was awake until 4:30 making sure this program worked so that my entire department could do their job today. But then I had to be up at 6:30 to finish other pieces of it, so I didn't get much sleep. And then it was Monday and a busy Monday, and things are as we're opening resorts again. Um, there's other projects that are getting sped up, and you know prioritization so work was kind of crazy and I'm exhausted but and we haven't taken a day off of protesting and but then they just announced today they dropped the 10 p.m. downtown curfew and they dropped the 10 p.m. county curfew and so I felt like today was going to be the lightest day of protesting because I haven't been going downtown and the organization I've been following the past two days where we've been like not in downtown I haven't seen them post anything so I don't even know if they're going out which they more than deserve a day off um, to rest their voices, rest their minds, to re-energize. Um, but I just think, like, I have the ability to go out. And even though we're seeing these great things happen across the world, um, literally the world, like France is enacting new laws, states across our, our country are enacting new laws, the UK is talking about different things, um, we can't stop. So even though I'm exhausted, I think I'm going to change um, and I'm gonna have Sarah drop me out. And we're gonna go downtown. I heard there's people at Lake Yola, I heard there's people at City Hall, but the curfew got dropped, so hope there's like a resurgence of people like getting in their cars right now and going downtown. Hopefully. So we'll see. Here we're going, just a driving down the street, seeing do I did they get in a protest around town. I'm dropping Peter off at a Walgreens that is the worst Walgreens in the land. And I think I only say that because we used to basically grocery shop at Walgreens. And so like to go to a Walgreens and there to not be anything good, anything really there at all. We used to get produce. So whenever I see this Walgreens and Peter's footage, I'm like, that Walgreens is the worst Walgreens in the world. Um, also, this is a, like most downtown I've dropped you off in a while. I know. Um, oh, there's the beach shop they open next weekend. There's no streets cut off right now, so yeah. Sarah's seeing pieces of downtown that she hasn't seen in weeks. All right, so Sarah dropped me off. Well, we did a loop around um, City Hall, and there was a group of maybe like 40 people. They're all sitting, and I think there's a speaker and some speeches going on. Um, some of the people who have like been leading the downtown organizations I saw. Um, so we did a loop. Sarah dropped me off at a Walgreens so I could pick up a monster because hurting, but still going out. I don't see any bike cops. I don't even see bike cops at City Hall. Which is that families are being split up that are actually indigenous to this place, native to this place. Amazon Prime, right now, entitled Just Mercy. At the end of the film, they tell you that he, he helps release two people from death row. These brothers knew each other. Check this out. These brothers knew each other. They are a few cells over from each other. Two black men in the South on death row, meaning they're going to die. Both of them released from prison because they had nothing to do with the crimes they were. I'm convicted of. 
Let's be honest, guys. We have to put the pressure on their neck. But the difference between our pressure is peaceful. It's words. It's a dialogue. Tomorrow, 4 o'clock, let's go to OPP. I want a huge crowd. I want everybody to share that. I want everybody to post that. If you have a job, that's cool. Go to your job, and then once you get off, you ain't got nothing better to do. Come help us. And ask yourself why we still have to be out here in 2020. Oh, if I look exhausted, it's because I just had a moment. I'm just gonna call it a moment. I'm not gonna go into details. It was something extremely personal, um, but I just wanna talk about it because it has affected my evening. Sorry, I had Wally on because Evie react so cute and I needed to pick me up in short what had happened was something where my mind automatically went to worst case scenario and that does happen a lot to me um, for things that really aren't even warranted um, and so I just feel like I I feel like I'm not the only person who does that I'm learning to trust my body you guys know that Pregnancy did not come easy for us. Um, but I feel like I haven't really been documenting my pregnancy experience because my gratefulness like has overcome my need to express, you know, any sort of stretching pain I've had, any sort of um, quote unquote complaint that I would have during pregnancy. And I just want to be upfront that my anxiety is revolving around um, around pregnancy are still very real, and every day is different. I'm just trying to do my best. I don't really know where I'm going with this clip. Basically, another Brookhart way of saying if you're going through something similar to this, you're not alone. Maybe I feel less alone when I pick up my camera. I think that's I think that's it. I think that I take comfort in talking to the camera about going through things. So I had my little bit of time with Eve watching um, Wally on the couch for just to settle myself down. Um, but now I'm doing something that I know a lot of you will appreciate and that is getting like a planning document set up for our little Disney staycation. Um, Nobody's gonna see it this day and age and like our technology, like everything's in your phone. Like I truly don't need our confirmation numbers and all of that good stuff. Um, but it just makes me happy. So I'll clue you in on where we're gonna stay. And that is one night at the Grand Floridian and three nights at Bay Lake Tower. So that is our plan so far. The dates are still a little bit like we just have to we really got to lock them in we did book specific dates even though we're just we're still clarifying things because if you're not aware of how DVC works um, it's really easy to reschedule or go on a waiting list or kind of modify your reservation whereas like we just wanted like we saw that the dates that we wanted were available and worked and so we just booked them because no matter what we're gonna be able to like reallocate those points however it works um, but our plan for the end of the summer is to go to Chicago for a baby shower for us. Um, and so we just have to make sure that the timing between the two, like, bits of Peter having to use time off works. Because, I mean, we just have to be aware of his working schedule. So um, we're not going to tell you exactly what dates yet, but we will as soon as we as soon as we know, and we're all good. But I did not realize that not every restaurant is going to be open when, like, when Walt Disney World like starts as like phases to be of reopening. At the resorts, only certain restaurants are going to be open. Only certain things are going to be available. Like, there won't be campfires there won't be like the arcades open but a lot of the pools will be open a, a lot of the stores will be open 
But again, like I'm taking the time now to look at what restaurants are going to be open. You can't make you can't make reservations for restaurants yet. But if we make a kind of a plan of where we're going to be, what we're going to do, then we can have our plan at the ready so that when they announce that reservations are open, that we can go ahead and book it. See, I feel better already. All right, walking home. Uh, earlier day, even though curfew is lifted, um, that today was like, there was like spoken word, there was poems, there was storytelling, there was talk of what, how you can get involved locally. And I'm still doing research, um, but one of the things that the other group that I'm usually with talked about the other day was seeing if your city has a like a city council advisory board which is just like there's a bunch of different versions I'm sure every city has does it a little differently um, but just advisory boards that are volunteer by citizens within your city to assist city council people with decisions whether that be zoning whether that be um, eviction notice decisions and a whole slew of things um, so I was checking out the vacancies in Orlando checking out which ones are available or when they're available and what it which ones what it takes to be in which different one and if there were any that I feel like I could provide good insight on to if I were to apply to take up a term as a city Orlando City Council advisory board member so you're not like in a you're not a board member you're not a city councilman or councilwoman but you're on the advisory you're you're on a board that's helping advise them She's eating some chips. <laughs> um, so we're gonna watch um, Just Mercy. Came out last year. Um, don't mind the crumbs in the background. For some reason, all our chips were smashed. So Just Mercy and what's the other one called? Selma. Selma are free this month on Prime, Amazon Prime, Prime TV, Prime something. Prime movie, something like that. And I've never seen either, so tonight we're gonna watch Just Mercy, um, which is about a Harvard lawyer that takes up the case to try to free, get justice for two black men on death row. I saw the, the trailer for it the other day, but when I was at the, the city hall today and during one of the people giving a, a speech brought up both of these movies actually, so I'm glad we're gonna watch one tonight and maybe another one another day. June 8th, Monday. Today's message is by Marilyn Monroe. Sometimes good things fall apart, so better things can fall together. Ooh, I hope that's the truth right now. All right, we're going to bed. Um, the movie was really good, like we said, based on a true story. I don't want these protests to stop. Like, I don't want, like, I want them to keep, I want this narrative to, I mean, like, I guess I'm a, I want the protest to keep going, but more important to me is I don't want the protest just to protest. I want the narrative to to not stop. Yeah. So if the protests are lightening like up, us seeing like the roads were closed a little bit less today. I didn't see a single road closed. Um, timelines are a little less flooded, and so you'll see that this, you know, this type of work that we're you know that we're doing now is going to be integrated into our into the daily vlog and into our daily lives. So if any of you have any experience with doing council, city council advisory boards, uh, I am, it's all new to me, so I'd love to pick your brain. It's good to be home. It's good to be home.